Hello, welcome to my second YouTube video and it is the banana method 2. If you haven't already seen the first banana method video, you should check it out so that you know exactly what's going on. We've said that when we're multiplying two brackets or a double bracket, what we want to do is we want to multiply everything in this first bracket by everything in this second bracket. We talked through how to do this in the first video. We draw on a banana. We make sure that the start of the banana is on the first term of the first bracket and the end of the banana is on the second term of the first bracket. This question is more difficult than the ones in the previous video because we have a negative in both brackets. So at some point we're going to be timesing a negative by a negative. So let's get on with the question and see what happens. The first calculation we do is x times x, which gives us x squared. The second calculation is x times minus 7. And I've told you to do x times 7, which gives you 7x. And then think about the sign. Because this is a plus, this is a minus. A plus times a minus is a minus. The same as a minus times a plus. The next one is going to be 3 times x, 3x, and it's a minus 3 times x, so it's minus 3x. The final one is where we're going to be doing minus 3 times minus 7. So let's start off with seeing what 3 times 7 is. 3 times 7 gives us 21, and a minus times a minus gives us a plus. A helpful way to remember this is to think of your two negatives going together, twist one round, and look, it makes a plus. Okay? So, that is our expanded answer, but your question will say expand and simplify. So, the next step is to simplify these terms. Now, we've got minus 7x minus 3x. It's a mistake to think of this as two minuses make a plus because this is simply an addition or a takeaway question. The question is minus seven take away three. So think of your number line. You start off on minus seven. You go back three. This takes you to minus ten. Okay. So minus seven x take away 3x is minus 10x. So our final answer is x squared minus 10x plus 21. The next double bracket question I want us to think about is tricky because I've put x's and y's in the bracket. So this one, we draw our banana on just the same. And our first calculation is going to be 3x times x. x times x is x squared. It just so happens you've got three of them. So 3x squared. 3x times 2y. Well, our letters multiplied together are xy. And 3 times 2 gives us 6. So 3x times 2y is 6xy. Now, this is a plus, and this is a plus, so our answer is plus 6xy. The next one is y times x, or x times y. It doesn't matter which way around. We usually write our letters in alphabetical order. Okay, so I'm going to put xy. Now, it's a minus times a plus, which makes a minus. The final one is minus y times by 2y. 2y times by y is 2y squared, and a minus times a plus is a minus. That is the expanded part done. Now we have to do the simplified part. So, 6xy take away xy. I want you to think about this xy as one thing. Okay? So, 6 of this thing take away one of these things is going to give us five of these things, okay? Which gives our final answer 3x squared plus 5xy 
take away 2y squared. And that has been simplified. The final double bracket question I'm going to show you is a bit of a trick question. When you see it in your exam, it's not going to look like a double bracket. But if we think about what this squared thing means, it actually means you have to times whatever it is by itself. In this case, the thing that we have to times by itself is x minus 9. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to write it out as a double bracket. x times 9, x minus 9, sorry, times x minus 9. And now it looks more like the questions that we've been working on. So we draw on our banana and we work through our multiplies. x times x is x squared, x times minus 9 minus 9x, you might be able to do it all in one at this stage, x times minus 9, minus 9x, and finally, minus 9 times minus 9. 9 times 9 is 81, and as we discussed before, a minus and a minus multiplied together gives a plus. So that's been expanded, now to simplify, we're doing minus 9x take away 9x. So if we're at minus 9, we take away another 9, we're going to be at minus 18. So minus 9x, take away 9x, is minus 18x. That means that our final answer is x squared, take away 18x, plus 81. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps, and good luck in your maths work.